Hello everybody, it's the Film Optimist. I'm talking about Hairspray. Hairspray is a musical, but wait, the fun doesn't stop there. John Travolta plays a woman. Say what? But seriously, this movie's pretty good. Thanks so to Nick's Armendariz for the request. What the fuck? What a horrible fucking review. Horrible. Horrible review. It's based on the 2002 Broadway musical of the same name, which in turn was based on John Waters' 1988 comedy film of the same name. Was that not a musical? Was it not a musical? Was that not a musical? I thought that was a musical too, huh? Really? Was it, was it not a musical? I guess not. That's weird. Um, yeah, let's go to the plot, shall we? In 1962, Tracy Turnblad is a 16-year-old heavyset high school student living in Baltimore. Along with her best friend Penny Pingleton, Tracy regularly watches The Corny Collins Show, a local teen dance television show. The show's young performers attend Tracy and Penny's high school, including Amber Von Tussle and her boyfriend Link Larkin, the lead dancers. Amber's mother, Velma, manages the, sh the show's host station, WYZT, ensuring that Amber is prominently featured. Courtney Collins and the other dancers are white, and Velma only shows African American dancers once a month on Negro Day, hosted by R&D disc jockey Motormouth Maybell. Did you, did you hear my audible when I said Negro? <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Oh, God. I'm just going to keep saying it, huh? One of the dancers on the show, Brenda, takes a nine-month leave of absence and auditions for a replacement or help. A nine-month leave of absence. I wonder what, that, what that's about. Fuck. This is a great movie. Tracy attends, but Velma rejects her based on her weight and for supporting integration. <coughs> Tracy is given detention for missing class to attend the audition and finds a Negro day kids practicing in the detention room. She befriends Seaweed, Motormouth Maybell's son, who teaches her dance moves. Uh, Link sees Tracy dancing and encourages her to attend a record hop with the dancers from the show. She's enchanted and imagines a life with him. At the record hop, Tracy's moves attract Corny's attention, and he chooses her to be on the show. Tracy quickly becomes a popular performer, affecting both Amber's chances of winning the show's Miss annual Miss Teenage Hairspray pageant and a relationship with Link as he grows fonder of Tracy. A local boutique owner named Mrs. Mr. Pinky suggests that Tracy should be the spokesgirl for his store, The Hefty Hideaway, and Tracy persuades her agoraphobic mother, Edna, to accompany her there as her agent. The outing boosts Edna's confidence, but is shattered when they encounter Velma and Amber, who insult both of them for their size. Tracy introduces Link and Penny to Seaweed, and he and Penny instantly connect. Uh, Seaweed and his younger sister, Little Inez, a talented dancer, later take Tracy, Penny, and Link to a party at Maybelle's store. Edna finds Tracy there and tries to take her home, but Maybelle convinces her to stay and tells her to take pride in herself. At the party, Maybelle... Maybelle is uh, Queen Latifah, right? Motor Mouth. Yeah. Fucking love Queen Latifah. Yep. <coughs> Let's go back. Edna... Maybelle's store... At the party, Maybell informs everyone that Velma has canceled ne Negro Day, and Tracy suggests that they march for integration. Link is unwilling to jeopardize his career by marching, straining his relationship with Tracy. Edna returns to her husband Wilbur's practical jump device shop, but Velma is there trying to seduce him. Edna accuses Wilbur of infidelity and forbids Tracy to be on the show out of hatred for Velma. However, she soon reconciles with Wilbur. Christopher Walken plays Wilbur, and Edna is played by John Travolta. Funny, a guy gets in a fat suit, and it's a fat woman. <laughs> he, he actually does a really good job. They both did a really good job. The next morning, Tracy sneaks out of the house to join the protest, which is halted by a police roadblock. Tracy argues with the police officer and sparks a brawl when she unintentionally hits him with her sign. Tracy escapes to the Pingleton's home, where Penny helps her hide in their fallout shelter. However, Penny's mother, Prudy, reports Tracy to the police before tying her daughter to her bed for harboring a fugitive. Having been bailed out by Wilbur, Seawood and his friends help Tracy and Penny escape. 
Link visits Tracy's house after hearing about the brawl and realizes he loves her. Seaweed and Penny also acknowledge their love during the breakout. And now I've tasted chocolate and I'm never going back is what Penny Pingleton says. Fu it's so fucking funny. I was like... <laughs> with the... <laughs> With the Miss Teenage Hairspray pageant underway, Velma assigns police officers to prevent Tracy from entering the studio while rigging the pageant tallies to ensure Amber wins. Penny arrives at the pageant with Edna while Wilbur, Seaweed, and the Negro Day kids sneak Tracy into the studio. As Amber is about to be declared the winner, Tracy crashes the pageant and dances for the title. Ling breaks away from Amber to dance with Tracy, then brings little Inez on stage and dances with her as well. Little Inez wins the pa pageant after a, large, a late surge of voting, uh, successfully integrating the Corny Holland show. Horrified Velma reveals her rigging scheme to Amber in front of a camera manned by Edna it is instantly fired. The dancers all celebrate while Tracy and Link cement their love with a kiss. Nikki Blonsky plays uh, Tracy Turnblad. I believe this is her first movie. Yep, as a professional actress. Um, and she did a really good job. Tracy Turnblad is a very positive character. Um, really cool to see that. Like, oh man, she's... she's it, fat people are people. Wow. That's awesome. Um, and then John Travolta, like I said, did good. It's Edna Turnblad. Because it, it's a it's a callback to the original 1988 film, um, which featured drag queen Divine as Edna. And Harvey Firestein played Edna in the Broadway musician. Michelle Pfeiffer's Velma Von, T uh, Von Tussle, the racist bitch. Wow! This is... Wow, um, Michelle Pfeiffer, oh, was in Greece too, shit, yeah, Travolta was in Greece, Pfeiffer was in Greece too, and Travolta requested that Pfeiffer play the part of the villainous, and they were like, okay, it's John Travolta, Amanda Bynes, Amanda, 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 show, she played Penny Lou Pingleton, now I taste in chocolate and I'm never going back, Amanda Bynes, man, God bless her. I hope she gets help. I mean, I, I guess she already has, but... Oh, man. She was a great fucking actress. And she was great in this film. Um, yeah, Queen Latifah. Love her. James Marsden is uh, Corny Collins. I love uh, James Marsden. Uh, Brittany Snow was Amber Von Tussel. Brittany Snow. Um, she's in a bunch of shit. Um... Just look up, look her up. I think she was in um, Pitch Perfect. Zach Efron was Lee Clarkin. Fucking heartthrob. Hey. This was his first, I think this was his first um, actual musical where he, where he actually used his singing voice. Um, in the high school musical films, he did not. I don't think he used it maybe in two and three. But I know one, he definitely did not. And he was like, yeah, that wasn't me. Um, Elijah Kelly as CWJ Stubbs. A, a beautiful chocolate man, super dark skin, and you know, team team dark skin for that guy, team team light skin for Zac Efron, team uh, yeah, Allison ja Allison Janney as yeah, Prudence Prudy Pingleton. Prudy's horrified to see that she's broken out and is kissing seaweed on live TV. Don't kiss that black man. Don't kiss that black man, no. Cameos. Ricky Lake. Ricky Lake was there. Um, Ricky Lake had a TV show. It might have been called The Ricky Lake Show. I was like, I remember her. The Ricky Lake Show. I was like, I'm, like you know, Ellen and Oprah and all these shows that we got nowadays. Fucking Ricky Lake had one called The Ricky Lake Show. I was like, she is very pretty. Um, I did not know she was an actress. And she played Tracy Turnblad in the original film. She was a, a heavy girl. Not so much anymore, but back then, yeah. So it's it's really cool that uh, she was in this one as well. John Waters. Um, of course, Divine could not be in this one because Divine died. R.I.P. I love this film. Um, it's... Very colorful, very in your face. Um, I was not a big musical guy, like in a way I was. I was more Disney musical, like Disney films, um, 
Wizard of Oz, Charlie, uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Those films were like my musicals um, that I loved. Um, whenever I was like, oh, there's another musical, the fucking Mamma Mia, I'm like, oh my god, here we go again, you know, <laughs> I was, fuck this shit, like, who cares about all these dumbass musicals, theater sucks, rent, 525, like, who gives, shut the fuck up, right, and Hairspray was very much one of those where I was like, oh my god, boring, do I really want to watch this shit, it, it made, it got, like, a lot of good reviews, on a budget of $75 million, it made $203.5 million. That is, that is fucking great. Especially for a, a film like this. You see the fucking poster and you're like, what is this? And you see it and it's, it's great. I did not, that blew, I was blown away that it was about like segregation. I was like, what is this movie? What? I was not expecting this. I thought it was just going to be about like, uh, body positivity, which was good enough, and then it was like, oh no, like, be positive with the skin you're in, like, stop, like, you can be black and be proud, like, oh man, that's great, it's like damn good message, damn good movie, um, and now this finally has the review that I believe it actually deserves, what the fuck was that review at the beginning, um, once again, thanks go to Nick's Armandari's, Armandari's, for requesting this film. Um, I forgot that she even requested this. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and watch it. It's, it's, it's great. It's a good one. It's a really good one. Okay, bye.